Hey everyone, in today's Instagram video, I wanna show you how to take an edited video from Adobe Premiere Pro and export it for Instagram. Now we're gonna focus on Instagram TV, IGTV, Instagram Reel, and Instagram Stories. Now those are all vertical formats. I have a whole different video on Instagram feed, which are more the square size or the 16 by nine size formats. That's a different video. You could check out the link in the description if that's what you wanna do. This is more on the vertical format and the export settings for that. Right now, let's jump in. Stick with me through the whole process. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to post it from your computer as well. And as usual, I have a free link in the description box below to Adobe Premiere Pro and all the resources we're going to talk about in this video. For IGTV, Instagram Reel and Instagram Story, your frame size is going to look like this. This is nine by 16 aspect ratio. So this is your nine, this is your 16, and it's the exact opposite way of a regular video or film, which is 16 by nine. Now the size of nine by 16, let me show you the size of the sequence here. I'm going to choose my sequence here, right click on it and choose sequence setting. Your resolution, if you're just starting from scratch or if you have the wrong size, your frame size should be 1080 on the horizontal axis and 1920 on the vertical. That gets you nine by 16. Your frame rate could be 24 frames, which is this frame rate right here, either 24 or 23,976, or it could be 30 frames per second. It just can't be any higher, at least at the time that I'm recording this for your sequence. Now I'm going to press OK, and this is basically my video that I'm going to export, and I can't use this on IGTV if it's less than a minute long, so I actually need to make this video at least a whole minute long, so at least a minute and one second for this to work, otherwise it's going to tell me that it's too short. But if it's less than 15 seconds, I could go to Instagram Story, and if it's 15 or 30 seconds, I could go to Instagram Reels. Those are the times of those different platforms inside of Instagram right as I'm recording this. But we're going to go to IGTV, so I'm gonna make this over a minute long. I'll go to the end of my sequence here and I press O, that's my out point. I'm gonna to go to the beginning and press I. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this nine by 16 instead of 16 by nine is because this just looks a lot better on IGTV, but you can do 16 by nine. Let me just show you. I'll go ahead and duplicate the sequence here and I'll go ahead and change the settings. I'll right click on it and change the sequence settings to reversing these two numbers. So 1920 by 1080 and you could see you get 16 by nine. Now, if I press OK, and say okay here, it's going to change this sequence if I double click to open it to 16 by nine. Now if I select the clips in the sequence, I could change the size of them over here on their FX control. So I'll reduce this down here to about 50 or 51, and this is my footage in 16 by nine now. So you can do 16 by nine, but I'm really gonna focus on nine by 16. All the settings from this point forward will be the same for both. So you don't have to worry if you're doing this type of traditional size video inside of IGTV. But IGTV will take both of those videos. I'll close this for now and we'll focus on this video size. Let's go ahead and export. Go to File, go to Export and Media. And here's the preview of your first frame here. And these are your settings. You want to make sure Format is set to H.264. This is gonna give you a good compression and an MP4 file, which is the most recommended file format to go to Instagram or really any platform on the internet. Next, your preset. Go ahead and change this to custom because I'm gonna show you exactly what to put for your settings. Go ahead and your output name, click this and label what you want for your file name and choose a destination, your desktop or a different hard drive. Do that here. Everything else we're gonna leave the same. And here we want to make sure we match the source as long as our source is 1080 by 1920, this should be all the same as you see here. If this doesn't look the same for you, you have to go and change your sequence settings to match this and change the size of your video to fit here. So make sure you do all that. And I'm going to come all the way down here now to 
bit rate setting. This is the section we care about the most. What we want to do is click this and we don't want constant bit rate and we don't want one pass variable bit rate. We want variable bit rate two pass. The difference between these two is that it's going to take two different passes. And why we don't want constant bit rate is because constant bit rate doesn't change your bit rates from any frame in your video. So if you have a really complex frame and a very simple frame, it treats them the same. Variable changes the bit rate depending on the complexity of the shot. So it's recommended here. And two pass basically gives you two different passes instead of one for the best results. So do that. Now target bit rate and maximum bit rate is what we care about. And these are my numbers, 12 for target and 20 for maximum. And this is just from a lot of testing and going on to Instagram for big brands and for my own videos. This is kind of the sweet spot between quality and file size. In this case, for a minute video, I'm at 100 megabytes. So if that was too big for some reason, you could go ahead and reduce this to even close to eight. That will reduce the file size to 67. But 12 is the sweet spot for me, so I'm going to leave it. Now, I'm not too worried about file size because especially not IGTV, it doesn't matter all that much. You could do multiple gigabytes on just one video file. Then I'm going to choose this checkbox under Use Maximum Render Quality. This is going to be checked on. This is just going to give me the best results, even though it's going to take a little bit longer on the export. And when I'm all set, I'm going to just go ahead and press Export here. And right when it's done, I'll show you how to post this right from the same computer onto IGTV. Now, if this takes too long for the speed of your computer, you could go ahead and drop this down to one pass, even though it's going to reduce quality, it's going to speed up the process and even turn off maximum render quality to speed things up. 